Hey there course creators, picture this. Your students have just completed your online course and are feeling proud to share about their newfound knowledge. What's the perfect way to cap off their achievement? A stunning course certificate, of course. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to design and add a beautiful certificate to your course using the classic editor in LearnDash LMS. Hi, I'm Michael, here with LearnDash LMS. And if you didn't know already, LearnDash LMS is the number one LMS plugin on the market for WordPress. With LearnDash, you have the power to create and sell online courses with ease. And now with the added benefit of course certificates, you can take your student's experience to the next level. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the steps to design your own certificate using Canva and show you how to add it to your course using the classic editor. By the end of this video, you'll be ready to create and share professional looking course certificates with your students. So let's get started. Before I begin with the tutorial, I'd like to make my case for why you should consider offering certificates in your course. There are many benefits such as the increased learner and motivation and engagement. By offering course certificates, you give your learners a tangible representation of their hard work and achievement, which can be a powerful motivator to keep them engaged and motivated throughout the course. There's also the added value and differentiation. In a crowded e-learning market, offering course certificates can help your course stand out from the competition and add extra value for learners who are looking for a comprehensive, rewarding learning experience. And let's not forget, your students have learned a new skill, and so course certificates provide learners with an official record of their achievement, which they can use to demonstrate their skills and knowledge to potential employers, colleagues, or even clients. This can be a valuable asset for learners looking to advance their career or expand their professional network. All right, now that we've made the case for the offering a course certificate, let's dive into the fun part, designing them. There are a variety of tools that you can use to design your course certificate depending on your design skills and preferences. If you're new to designing or just looking for a quick and easy solution, you can use online design tools like Canva or Google Slides. These tools offer pre-designed templates and intuitive drag and drop interfaces, making it easy for anyone to create a professional looking certificate in no time. For more advanced designers, Adobe Photoshop is a popular choice for creating custom course certificates. With its powerful design tools and extensive features, you can create highly detailed and personalized certificates that truly stand out. So whether you're a design pro or just starting out, there's a tool out there to help you create a course certificate that learners will love. So let's get designing. For this tutorial, we'll be using Canva, a popular graphic design platform that offers many customizable templates, including templates for certificates to give us a quick and easy starting point. So first things first, what you're gonna wanna do is head over to canva.com. And if you haven't already, create an account. And if you do have an account, just be sure to sign in. Next, you're gonna head to the search area and simply type in certificate. You can select the first option and in Canva, it will provide you a number of templates. We're simply gonna start with a blank certificate. On this page, you'll be provided with templates in the left-hand side panel. Do know that if you see any crown icon to the bottom with the pro text, this indicates that you will need a pro account to be able to access these templates. On my free account here, I'm simply gonna select this option, which is a free option. And I'm gonna make changes to uh, customize it to my branding. So firstly, I'm going to delete any elements that are not within my branding. I'm gonna shift this up and give this text certificate of completion. I'm also going to change the colors to fit my branding. I'll delete the elements I don't need. Okay, so we're already there. Now, uh, if you have a signature that you'd like to add to your certificate, you can upload it to Canva. However, for all intents and purposes of this video, I'm simply going to search for a signature that I can add here. So, I'm gonna change the color, customize it to my branding, and just reduce it here. So that seems about right. And now that I have 
customized my certificate background. I'm simply gonna to go to the share option to the top right, head over to download and change this from PNG to JPEG and click on download. Now we're ready with our download to head into the classic editor in LearnDash. Before we get into the details of how to add a course certificate to your online course, let's talk about the classic editor. The classic editor is a built-in feature in WordPress that allows you to edit your website content using a simple and intuitive interface. And once you've designed your certificate, we'll upload our design to WordPress and use short codes to automatically populate the certificate with the learner's name, course title, completion date, and other important details. Now, let's dive into the details of how to add a certificate to your LearnDash course. Now that we have our background completed for our course certificate, it's time to actually create a certificate inside of LearnDash LMS. So to do so, you're gonna head over to the LearnDash backend, navigate to LearnDash LMS, and click on certificate. If it's your first certificate, you're gonna click on add new to the top right, or add your first certificate. You will be asked to give your certificate a title. And don't worry, this title is not going to be seen by your students. This is just for you to identify which certificate you'll be using. I'll give my certificate a title, and then I'll add my background image to the featured image. Now I'll set my featured image. And then I'll click on publish. Okay, now that you've created your certificate, you'll be prompted to assign it to a quiz or a course. Let's do so now. Head over to your courses. We'll navigate to this course. Next, we're gonna to go to settings. And if you scroll down, you should find course certificates under display and content options. I'm gonna select our certificate and click on update. This will ensure that the certificate is awarded to students who have completed this course. Next, we'll head back to the certificate so that we can make some adjustments to the text. In the edit area, make sure you have toggled on visual and we're simply going to make some changes to this document so that we can add our information for our student. So in the visual editor, I'm simply going to press the enter tab to shift the cursor down. And now I'm going to look for the short codes so that I can add my user's information. I'm gonna to navigate to user meta. And here's where I'll select the user first name. I'm gonna click insert short code. And here's where I can make adjustments. So I'm going to change this to heading two and align it center. I can also choose to add first and last name. I'll delete this. And I can choose first and last name and insert short code and ensure that it's center aligned. Now I'm going to give it an indent. I'll put some text. I'll align that center as well and give it heading four. I'll shift down one and then we need to insert the short code for the course title. I note that with this editor, you will have to do things approximately to ensure that they are entered in correctly, as the information you see here will not exactly look dissimilar on the preview. I'm going to add the course completed on date. Take note of the format uh, for the date. Currently, it's going to show with the month, the date, the year, and the time. You could make adjustments if you like, um, but we will simply delete the time. Or just simply have all the information. Aside from the time, we'll insert short code. And again, we will center align. Okay, I think we're just about there. I'm gonna click on update. Now let's go ahead and preview the changes for this certificate. Now, once a user has completed the course, they will be presented with the option to download their certificate. Let's do so now. 
As you can see, the alignment of our text and information isn't quite right, so we can go back and make some changes. However, the information presented is correct. So lastly, we'll make some adjustments to the size and formatting of the document. If you'd like to make additional changes, but you're not familiar with how to use HTML and how to make edits, what you can do is head over to wordtohtml.net. It's a great resource if you'd like to make a bit more changes to the text. So as you can see here, I put first and last name and essentially I've selected my font, changed the size of my text, as well as if I wanted to, I can also change the color and make changes on the fly. I can then copy my text and then paste it into the editor. So I'm gonna keep it just as is. I'm gonna copy this information here. In the text area is where I'll make my changes so that I can add in text. So as you can see, I've pasted in my text right here and inserted the short code and inserting the short code where the first and last name field would be. Now I do know that things look a bit crazy here, but you'll see that on the actual document, it will not be aligned in such a manner. So as you can see, we have our certificate of completion fully dialed in with our styling and content matched to what we would like. Now this is a bit basic and you can probably make adjustments to your own design in Canva and you can add more meta information if you do like. But for all intents and purposes, this is how you can go about achieving your certificate. Before we wrap up, I want to mention that there's another option for creating course certificates using the Certificate Builder add-on plugin. This plugin allows you to use blocks via the Gutenberg editor to create custom certificate designs with ease. Using the Certificate Builder add-on, you can choose from a variety of pre-designed certificates, templates, or create your own using the drag and drop interface of the Gutenberg editor. The plugin also includes advanced customization options such as adding images, logos, and signatures, and more. So if you prefer working with blocks and the Gutenberg editor, the Certificate Builder add-on plugin might be a better option for you. It's another great tool to add a level of learner retention and achievement to your online course. If you'd like to learn more about the Certificate Builder add-on and think it's a better option for you, be sure to check the link in the description. So there you have it, a complete tutorial on how to create a course certificate using the classic editor. To recap, we covered the benefits of offering course certificates in your online course, how to design a certificate using Canva or other design tools, and how to use the classic editor in WordPress to add your certificate design to your course. I encourage you to give it a try and create your own professional looking certificate for your online course. If you need further guidance or support, don't hesitate to refer to the LearnDash documentation. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this tutorial helpful in adding a level of learner retention and achievement to your online course. If you really really like this video, then give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to be the first to see our latest tips, tricks and tutorials. We can't wait to see what you create next.